Here's your left and your right. Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Gonna do a video today and explain to you how to tone and trace speaker wires in an existing home, maybe even a new construction home where they've put some speaker jacks in the wall and you're not quite sure what's going on. Uh, gonna give you a few different scenarios here because there is some stuff you can run into, especially on an existing home. So for example, what we got here is, this is our test bed, as you can see, it's been here for a long time. But what we have here is an eight ohm left speaker, an eight ohm right speaker. This is a stereo speaker, so it's got a left eight ohm input and a right eight ohm input. Uh, if you're wondering, this is just a 70 volt speaker tapped at 30 watts and uh, obviously an input jack there and that's to test commercial. So what we use this little in wall thing here in our shop is to kind of test old broken gear uh, or even you know pre-set up an install uh, that we're gonna send out of town. We can pop our jacks in here and test the amp and then repack it back up. What you're gonna need is a basic tone trace. So something from Klein. This is just a basic Klein one. I think about 50 or $60 on uh, Amazon. I'll share a link to the one we use. I like this one. Uh, it does come with a probe if you wanna check and trace wires. Um, and I'll show you how that works real quick. And then you're definitely gonna want a multimeter. So this is just a basic Klein. This goes in our kind of travel bag, um, but it gives you everything you need to know. And you'll set that at 200 ohms and uh, that'll give you the reading of the speakers. So what I'm gonna do is put this on a tripod because I don't think I can film and do this one hand. And then I'll show you how we trace these. You'll hear the tone, what you should be hearing out of your speakers. Uh, super good to test like your left, right separation. Or again, if you're doing a whole house, you can be in your living room, uh, put this tone in and literally probably hear it. If your you know, speaker's even a hundred feet away, you should hear it. Um, or, you know, have your wife or family member, or, you know, kid, someone help you trace these down and then that'll let you get your amplifier hooked up and then I'm gonna warn you again just make sure you have a multimeter because a lot of these old homes will daisy chain these speakers so you'll have a left and right input or even a left input and it'll go to a volume control and then jump out to another volume control and another volume control and you'll get a really funky ohm load and maybe your amp can't handle that you can get one and even half ohm uh, loads and a lot of amps can't do you know one two ohms half ohm loads four ohms usually the minimum so anyway, I'm gonna throw this on the tripod and uh, kind of complete the video there. Okay, thanks guys. I got this on the uh, tripod here. Got a pretty good angle on it, I think. So what I'm gonna do is show you how the tone trace works. So first thing you wanna do, obviously power it on. This will give you a solid tone. I don't really like the solid tone. I like when it kind of dances around. So what that's gonna do is give you a, a like almost more of an alarm sound. And then for example, if we plug this in, so here's your left and your right. So now you can hear that in the video, I hope. Pretty sure you can. That's telling us that our left speaker's got a tone. You'll see the continuity lights up and it's going from there. And then we can test our right speaker now. And so there's our right speaker. So again, this is a dual stereo, but most rooms are gonna have a left and a right speaker. And again, you're gonna get that trace. So that's the first thing you're gonna wanna do, super simple. That would give you in a stereo pair. And then I wanna give you one other scenario here. So say you had some wires hanging out or this and you didn't hear a tone. Well, maybe in the house they had a pair of bookshelf speakers or some other jack that wasn't working. So technically you could plug these in and then actually take your wand. So you can turn your wand on and then you could trace that speaker wire and get that same tone. You don't actually have to have a speaker. So kind of a dual purpose tool. You can also use this to trace cat five, phone lines, uh, coax lines. As long as these don't touch together, they're gonna send a tone down the wire. So super simple there. The next thing you're gonna wanna do, especially on the home stereo realm, you're gonna wanna set this to the 200 ohm setting and then you're gonna to wanna to take and get your positive and your negative. And now for example, I think you can see this in the video, it's showing 7.3, 7.4 ohms. So that's an eight ohm speaker. So a lot of speakers aren't gonna be exactly dead on eight ohms, they'll be 6.7, 7.2, 7.9. Now if we add two of these together, that's gonna to give you a four ohm load. So just basic ohms law. 
Um, I don't have a jumper on here, but if I were to take these and spread them across here and tie those both together, I'm going to take 7.3 and I'm basically going to divide that and that's going to give me my ohm load. It's going to be, you know, 3.6, 3.7, which is 4 ohms. So anyway, hopefully this video will help you. It's real short, real simple video. But if you don't know anything about this, you know, you're going to have an installer and, you know, we do it ourselves. We'll come out to a job site and charge someone a $125 service call to trace out a few of their speaker wires because we have the tools and the know-how. Uh, but you can buy these tools for less than $100 and trace this stuff out yourself. So a short video. I might do this as a Tech Tuesday. I might do this as its own little video. Uh, appreciate you subscribing if it helped you out. Thanks a lot.